Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song by Blake Shelton called Boys Around Here. And it's going to start on an A major chord, and the way you play A major, first finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, second finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the B string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like an A major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the A major, we're going to be going to a D major chord. And the way you play D major, first finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, Second finger is going to go to the high E on the second fret. Third finger is going to go to the B string on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, kind of the top four strings, that'll get you your clearest sound out of that. It's called D major. And basically, our, our entire song is just kind of revolving between those two chords. We're going A major, D major, A major, D major. But a lot of times to make a song like this more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 is down, down, up, up, down, up, which you could kind of get to work with this song. So we took the A and just kind of did down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, just to get used to that. And we tried that throughout through our progression. We got A. something we could do is instead on the first down stroke, instead of doing the whole strum across the entire chord, we could actually add some things called bass notes. And what I mean by that is like for the A, we could do a bass on the A string and then do your down, up, up, down, up. And then on the D, you could do that same thing, but now on the D chord, you got a D string for the bass on the D chord. So you got A with an A bass, down, up, up, down, D with a D bass, down. to kind of work through the tune. What I really feel like, really feels like the, the strum pattern though is instead of working off an eighth note strum pattern, I think it's kind of working off a sixteenth note. And what I mean by that is, is if you're tapping your foot to the beat, if you divide it into two parts, one, two, one, two, that's called an eighth note. And that's kind of what the down, down, up, up, down, up is working off of. What a sixteenth note is, is if you divided that foot and tap into four parts, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite sixteenth note strum patterns that I think really kind of matches the tune is long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And what I mean by that is like we took the A and, and did it down and counted four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what you should be doing on the first beat. On the second beat, we're doing a down on one, down on three, up on four. So we're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then on the third beat, we're doing a up on two, down on three. So we're going one, two, three, four. Kind of going down up, down up, right along with, with the one, two, three, four. So you got down up, down up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So all together you got long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. So we tried that through our progression. We'd have the A, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, D, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, D, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, D, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, D, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, D, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And something else you can do with that is kind of adding some basses to that strum pattern. So another one of my favorite sixteenth patterns is a bass, bass, down, down, up, up, bass, down, up, down, up. And what I mean by that is like if you took the A and kind of did two of the A strings for the bass, 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 and then did the down, down, up, up, and then did another bass on the A string, and then the down, down. So I'm going to take in a couple of the downs and kind of start replacing those with bass notes. So now I'm going bass, bass, down, down, up.
Um, now, in the second verse, there's some really cool hits where it's almost like a big down down. And if you want to make it, it just kind of really, really powerful, you could use some things called power chords instead of the reposition chords that we're using right now. So instead of doing the A major, you could do something called A5. And what A5 is is something called a power chord. And you're basically taking an A note and then counting up five notes, A, B, C, D, E, and adding an E note to it. So what you want to do for A5 is put the first finger on the low E on the fifth fret. And if you take the third finger and go to the A string on the seventh fret and kind of strum just those two strings, that's called an A5 power chord. And on that breakdown in the verse, it almost feels like you're doing two downs on A and kind of killing the strings. They're going A, A. And then you're kind of going to a D5 instead of, of, of a regular D. And all you really have to do is take that shape and just kind of shift it by one string. So now first finger is on the A fifth fret, third finger is on the D string on the seventh fret, and you're strumming just the A string and the D string to get a D5 power chord. So, so that could be kind of a cool way to break it up is doing the, the verse with the A5. D5, down, down, kill it, A5, down, down, kill it, A, D5, down, down, kill it. So that might be something else you want to try and add. And for myself, there are actually a lot of other places you can play those chords, that A and the D. And at the very, very beginning on the intro part, it almost feels like, like you're doing part of, of a, a bar chord. And, and this is kind of cool. You could take first finger and go low E on the fifth fret, second finger on the G string on the sixth fret, third finger on the A string on the seventh fret, and the pinky on the D string on the seventh fret. And if you strum all those with just the open E and B, so not actually doing a bar all the way across the top, leaving it open, it's something I like call a drone voice for A major. And then if you took that shape and kind of slid it up all the way up to tenth fret on the low E, and then second fret on the G string 11, third finger on the A on the 12, pinky on the D string on the 12, if you strummed all those together, that would kind of be like another way to kind of play D. So we were kind of just letting the E and the B just kind of ring through those. So if you try that with your down, down, up, up, down, you have A, down, up, up, down, up, D, down. that Blake's kind of using at the very beginning of this song. And if you wanted to, you could even use those voicings through the chord. You could do the bass, uh, the bass down, up, up, down, where we have the low, and now all our basses actually are going to be on the low E string because that's where the, the A note and the D note are for those chord voicings. So you'd have low E bass, down, up, up, down, E with the low E bass, down, up, Places is you could kind of play it with, with that second, second uh, party on the second fret where we got the D G and E on the second fret. But we could actually play those same notes. We're actually playing A's and C sharps and E's when we do that voicing. And another place to play those on those same strings is to go to B string on the fifth fret with first finger, second finger on the G on the sixth fret, third finger on the D string on the seventh fret, and you can still strum all the strings with that, and that still sounds an A major. And another place you could play A major is if you took that shape and split it up to 9th fret, so now on 9, 10, and 11, and kind of switch the first finger to the G string, second finger to the B string, and now, so now I've got 9th fret on the G, 10th fret on the B, and then 11th fret on the D, and that's another way to play A major. So you may want to consider while you're on the A major, you can actually switch between those voices, that 5, 6, 7, and then the 9, 10, 11, for your A chord. And for your D, there's some similar voicings really close to that. Like on the D, we're playing Ds and F sharps and A's. And so another place that you could play a D major chord on those same strings would be going high E on the fifth fret with the first finger, 
third finger on the G string 7 and then pinky on the B string 7 and you can still kind of strum just the D string to the high E and still have a D major chord. So that may be something else you want to kind of add for your D chords rather than playing the regular D major, the 2-2-3 one. You can go to the 7-7-5 one. And then another D major you could do is you could kind of go 10th fret on the high E and 10th fret on the B string and kind of get the second finger to go to the G string 11 and kind of play those same notes, that D, F sharp, and A in a different place. So, so you could even revolve between those chords, between it, just as an example. Like if you took the down, down, up, up, down, up, you'd have A, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down. But then you could jump to the 5, 6, 7, A, down, up, up, down, and the 7, 7, 5, D. And then you could jump up to the 9, 10, 11, A. And then you could go to the 10, 10, 11, your bass, bass, down, 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 up, 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 bass, down, up, down, to work with that too. So the 5, 6, 7, 8, the 7, 7, 5, D, to the 9, 10, 11, A, to the 11, 10, 10, D. Or you could even throw that in with your drum voices if you wanted to. So even though it's a two chord song, there are actually a lot of places you could play those chords. So that's the basics of how you could play Boys Around Here by Blake Shelton. So good luck!